guys, welcome to this week's episode of Take the Wheel Tuesdays, where today, baby, we'll be talking about labels and how having a title doesn't always mean that you're winning. <laughs> so let's get into this greatness. So my first example will be how people call people bougie and how people usually take offense to it, but how we can turn that known offensive word into something positive. So I inspired myself because for the longest, for years, all of my friends, my family, <laughs> co-workers, bosses, call me bougie. Um, since high school, I can remember, since my freshman year of high school, that's when it really started to click. Like people used to call me bougie all the time. And I get so defensive because I'm like, I'm not bougie. People who are bougie feel entitled, they feel privileged. Um, they like the flashiest of things. They spend money on everything. Um, they see themselves as better than everybody else. And I don't do that. Now, I do set myself to a certain standard. I will walk in the room like I own it. Um, but I don't see myself as this person who was bigger than thou. Um, and so it just never clicked. Because I'm like, again, I shop at Ross, Burlington, and Rainbow. How is that bougie? I've learned over the years I'm still struggling a little bit when certain people call me bougie um, but when my friends say now it's just like okay y'all don't call me this for years it is what it is but I've learned to not take offense to it depending on who's saying it and how they're saying it because I know who I am over the years my mom always told me um, it ain't about the dollar sign on the tag it's how you piece stuff together She's always told me that I've had expensive taste since I was younger. Even when we went to family dinners, I was the one who was ordering the most expensive meal on the menu. Um, when we would go girls' day, have girls' day, I like the fanciest of the stuff. <laughs> it's not my fault, it's your fault. You raised me. But um, she taught me how to go to certain stores um, that are in my price range or that was in her price range when I was under her. Um, and how we can piece stuff together that looks like we spend a lot of money on, but we spend a reasonable price on it. Um, and so that's just how I am now. And it came across in one of the messages at church, it was probably like last, last year, Pastor Williams brought up the whole meaning of like bougie and how to not take offense to it, but take it as a compliment. And I'm like, how do you take somebody calling you bougie as a compliment? Um, and he was saying that people see you as this person of a higher standard. If they want to place you in a class of being an upper class or higher class citizen, let them do that. You made that mark on yourself where people admire you. They respect you. They look up to you. Um, and accept that because it's not the wrong. Now, you may know that you won't got it all together, but you know how to walk in a room and own that, and, um, own that room. Um, I taught, I was taught that lesson back in high school. Um, my high school coach, speech coach, I did speech and theater all four years in high school. Um, and my speech coach, she always told us every time before we walk into a round, walk in there, you might be nervous as balls, but walk in there like you about to win this round. And so we all learn how to walk into a room full of white other students that went to private schools and better schools than we did and how to earn own a room and make others feel like dang okay maybe she know what she gonna do or she about to kill this thing and so it's the same thing um people can label us people can give us titles but it's up to us how we own them and so when i thought about it when i was thinking about this topic i was just like that's true I used to take being bougie so defensively, so defensively, so offensively that I started making myself mad when I really didn't need to. And then I was thinking how, you know, when we've worked all of these jobs that it was just like our temporary job. So we got to our job that we wanted to get into and our, well, that we wanted to be in as far as our career goes and how we felt like our supervisor, our boss, our lead server, our team lead, um, really didn't know how to do their job and we can do it better than they could. <laughs> it's 
the same thing. They have a title. That title or that position was placed there for a reason to um, orchestrate structure, organization, um, for document purposes. But just as they have a title and that title was created, another title can be created just for you. Uh, you keep doing you, you keep being you, you keep owning the room, you keep having great work ethics, um, you keep demanding that respect and, earn, and earning it from everybody, a new title could be created for you that take precedence over that other person who so-called had a higher title. And so I just really wanted to bring light into how titles can be this negative thing, this thing that takes over our minds that kind of make us feel bad about ourselves or we get depressed about or we get anxious about or we want to get to that position or that title when in turn we can own our current titles now and turn that into something greater because as long as you stay you and I've been saying this since forever as long as you stay you you continue to be you everything gonna keep moving forward and so it's the same thing that my mom told me long time ago just because somebody is staring at you or just because people are giving you a name or talking about you or whatever like that they might really just be admiring you and just don't know how to say it um, verbally or put it into different words um and so i use that concept a lot now now again i struggle a little bit <laughs> with certain things but mainly i'm learning to turn things around for the better for myself um, because I still have higher places that I want to go and I'm not going to be stopped because you want to label me as something that you consider to be one thing, but I'm going to be labeled as what you label me as, but I'm going to turn it into another thing. And now you're going to wish that you thought it, of it the way that I did and you would kept your mouth shut. So <laughs> that's all I wanted to bring to you guys today, some food for thought. Um, how to just turn labels around um, because everybody is labeled in some form, way, or fashion. Um, everybody is has had some title put on their name. Um, and we just have to turn those titles and those labels into something greater um, because that's just who we are. So you guys be great with greatness. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic of conversation. Please join in on the conversation. Keep the conversation going in the comments. DM me if you want to. Text or call me if you have my number. And of course, I will see you guys next week. But if you've been getting offensive about labels, still be great with greatness and show them just how great you are.